Hello to this new video. Today I want to show you how you integrate the possibility to use a negative prompt with Flux. It's a quite simple workflow, quite straightforward. We are using the sampler custom advanced for this one. This example is also using the Flux Realism LoRa. That's about it. Let's start from scratch and create this. Let's start with a sampler custom advanced. Double click on the background. We can already create the output with the VAE decode and the save image node. Then we need some random noise. Connect this to the noise input. I like to use the increment setting. We create the perp neck guider node. It's in the config core, you don't need an extension for this. We need to select our K sampler, K sampler select. I use the standard Euler sampler. We need a basic scheduler. Connect it to the Sigma port. Let's change the steps to 30 and keep the denoise at 1 and we need our empty latent image i use 1920 to 1080 since i want to use it for my youtube thumbnail for the prompt pipeline we need the dual clip loader I use the FP8 clip and we use the clip L as a second clip and we have to set flux here. So we need our positive prompt connected to the positive input. Then we copy and paste this three times. We need one for the negative prompt connected to negative and we have the empty conditioning which simply can be empty but we need it for this so okay let's do a prompt inside here i have this foggy daylight scene with single huge slightly purple blue white neon letters on top of a minimalistic concrete desolate brutalism building platform showing the text flux architecture photography dystopian brutalism offshore platform just uh, keep it like that we keep the negative prompt empty for now but we will render it without the negative prompt and then we put in the negative prompt so that we can see the effects of it on our final rendering we need the model we use the load diffusion model node i use the normal def model with the fp8 e4 weight and for sure we need the vae we need to create the load vae node and we need to connect this to our vae decode i told you we use the realism lora for this we need to load the lora Create the LoRa loader model only node and select Flux Realism LoRa. I will link all the models in the description below. I use the model sampling Flux node. And now connect the output of this to the model input of the negative guider node. So in here we have to change the resolution as well 1920 to 1080 let's use the strings of 0 0.85 here for the LoRa okay 
some more setting changes for the guider i like to change the cfg to one and the negative scale to two and we keep all the other settings and this should be everything we need to create and set let's give this a try i will speed up the process so we forgot to connect the model to our basic scheduler it's right here and now we should be able to go and there we go so this is the result i like it a lot great dystopian um, mood okay so this tends to be a little bit blue so we can try to use the negative prompt to eliminate the bluish fog and simply put blue inside here and let's generate again to show you that it is working there is much more possible here i think also the prompt weighting is working so you can simply put your cursor into the keyword and then press control and up and down arrows and you can give this keyword more weight so this is really handy if something isn't excluded enough you can simply put up the value of the weight and uh, you should be good to go so let's generate again you see the blue is gone but i will push this a little bit up to 1.5 and render again here we go and you see the blue is vanishing more play around with uh, your prompts and tell me if you like it if it works for you in the comments i will upload the whole workflow on my patreon you can get it with a base membership as well as about 20 or 30 other workflows uh, number will increase in the future there are some old workflows i will upload in the next weeks and yeah thank you for all the supporters on patreon you're doing me a great favor it helps me a lot consider to get a supporter and subscribe like my video that helps a lot too and i hope to see you soon again in the next video bye bye